Alright, so basically, um, I thought I'd show you guys something really cool. Um, usually I'm stuck to doing uh, drying skins, um, shed skins, uh, skeletons, I do skeletons. Uh, never have I done arachnids, um, particularly scorpions. Uh, I've got more scorpions than tarantulas, obviously. Um, so, basically I've constructed a way to dry them effectively um, and I can check the insides to see if it's all been dried um, and then get it ready to mount it to a plaque um, which is really easy anyone can do it um, I just kinda woke up but <clears throat> so basically I'm taking the top to a pro pack styrofoam for like shipping rodents uh, shipping reptiles shipping anything um, and this basically, A, lets me stick anything uh, to hold the animal down. Obviously, they're already dead. Um, so a lot of times people give me, um, I tell them, hey, if your animal dies, I can mount it for you. I can do something cool. Uh, take the skin, mount it to the wall, look at something cool. Um, but my buddies get, oftentimes give me scorpions that, you know, need to be revived. But some don't make it. Not a big deal. Um... It sucks, but uh, so basically here I've got three types. I've got a uh, Conquestriatus, which is a uh, death stalker. Um, I've got a B. Jackson eye, and I've got uh, an Imperator, which uh, is your Emperor Scorpion. Uh, the Emperor is actually pretty big. It's a big male. Um, the Jackson eye is a female, and the the uh, death stalkers was my male. So and. He, I was getting ready to breed them, which sucks. So, here is basically what I've done in order to <clears throat> dry these effectively. And I'm getting ready to mount them to a plaque, which sometimes they get a nice background, or I just will mount them just straight to the hardboard and uh, tack on the plexi. Um, but this is, uh, let me, I'm on a webcam, so. Yeah, so, so you can see basically, I put the uh, measurements there, just, uh, hey, it reminds me um, how big this was, whatever, it's cool, uh, but the species, obviously, if, for, you know, let's say I put two Jackson eyes on there, or two Death Doggers, or two uh, yeah, Parriers at the same size, obviously that's uh, going to confuse me, so, mm, I just throw that on there. Hey, it's pretty cool. Um, and then when they get mounted, obviously, they're, I think all these three are going to go in together. Um, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, now, this is for drying. This is not actually mounting it. So these aren't actually hardened to the point where I can't manipulate the tail or anything like that. The legs are hardened. Um, I didn't get to the Death Stalker fast enough. So the Death Stalker's legs are... Um, they were curled down, as in like a tarantula dies, it dies upside down, and the legs curl back. So basically, it's the same idea. Um, the um, uh, the uh, emperor, uh, I got to in a decent time, and the legs um, look decent. But the uh, Jackson, I I got to that right away, and uh, I noticed that uh, probably within the first twelve hours that it died. So um, I was able to. Uh, manipulate the legs because they're nice and soft and pin them down um, and if you look closely how I've done this is I basically taken a pair of wire cutters and <clears throat> taking your everyday paper clip and cutting it right in the middle and it gives you nice three nice loops and I can take a pair of hemostats and push them down to hold that tail in place now you're all probably wondering well is the tail still venomous um, Yes and no. Uh, what I've done to effectively dry this, a uh, friend has told me a good effective way. Um, is to take some super glue, super glue the tip, and then super glue um, a piece of cork or sponge onto it. And now what this does is it, it clogs the vein so that if you were to get poked by this, the other thing that's going in your blood is super glue. Obviously, you want to be careful. So, I've done is with the test stalker, I have taken um, a paper clip right at the end, so yeah, I can't even touch it. Um, and then if you notice, all the stingers are pointing 
down. The Jackson eye is pointing down. The imperator, which is right there, is pointing down. Um, if it's pointing up and I'm working on the tail, obviously I'm going to get pricked by that. Nothing too big. You know, I've been stung by a Jackson eye and it's, um, it hurts. It's a couple days of pain, but, uh, obviously a dead one isn't going to be as bad as the real one. So obviously it's not going to hurt too bad. Um, most likely all the venom is dried in there. Uh, I haven't done anything special. Just, uh, just dried it. I thought this was cool. Um. And it gives me a chance to uh, feel the textures, too. Uh, uh, an emperor, um, obviously, everyone's hold, held an emperor, but emperors are very shieldy. They feel very, they feel very soft. The Jackson eyes are actually soft. They feel like velvet. And uh, the Death Stalkers, they, they feel like they're armored, made made like a tank, just like the uh, emperors. Um, I just uh, I thought it was cool. Kind of cool to show you guys. And actually, this is really cool. Um, is that when it dries, the legs become very brittle. So I've actually broken a piece of the leg, and I'm going to super glue it back together. But uh, very cool, very cool. Uh, I'll show you the finished product. Uh, I've been working on this four weeks now, I think. I, uh, I started with the Emperor. Um, and then, uh, well, the Emperor and the Death Stalker. But uh, I've had um, I've had them starting to dry. I've, I hang them before I do this. A um, just lets um, the organs fall more towards the claws, which is what I like. Um, nothing special about that, really. Just uh, I just hang it for a week. Not a big deal. Uh, you can just straight put it to styrofoam if you want to. It's really easy. So if you have any of your animal sty like that um obviously an invertebrate um easy to do the one i'm yet to do one day hopefully it's like a centipede or a millipede that would be really cool to do i would love to do that um but doesn't happen every day so this will be cool and i'm um, giving this to a buddy of mine and uh see what he thinks of it so that's about it Thought I'd uh, show you guys something cool today, something you don't see every day, especially Death Stalker. So, <clears throat> alright, see you later.